Hello guys and welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper Run version .393. This is the old version of the game. And uh, we are going to uh, go ahead and pass some time and get into the uh, daytime here. In the last episode we crafted, uh, we forged an uh, improvised hatchet and knife and a bunch of arrowheads that we're going to use to do some hunting later. But for now, we're just going to uh, explore some other areas in Desolation Point. We'll leave the heavy hammer here because we don't need to carry that around with us. It's a lot of dead weight when it's not being used for forging. Go ahead and leave the ship now. The weather seems pretty nice. Oh, not not terribly cold and it's lightly snowing, so I think we'll be okay in that regard. Well, let's head over here to the Hibernia processing plant. It's a whale processing plant. And it's got the main building and a couple of buildings around it that we're gonna check out. Sometimes there can be pretty good loot in this area, so you always want to make sure to check it out. And I've often come across uh, more than one whetstone over here checking out these buildings. And we need all the whetstones we can get because whetstones mean our improvised tools last that much longer. And really the only thing that's going to bring us back to the Riken would be if we survive a long time and and break all of our improvised tools, or break at least some of our improvised tools. And But that will probably be at least to day 40, if not longer. And who knows how long we're going to make it this run, but... If we get to day 40, it's going to be pretty horrendous travel conditions, I can tell you that. Let's see what's in this building here. This is like a uh, bunk for the workers of the plant, I think. Obviously, it looks like it's long since abandoned. Although there's plenty of opportunities to harvest cloth and uh, tinder in here. Let's see, anything around here? Oh, there's a whetstone. Yeah. I've got one whetstone and a candy bar here. And there's obviously a lot of metal in these bed frames you could harvest if needed. Check out the first aid kit. Some antiseptic and that's about it. Anything else back here? I don't see anything. Let's head it head out and head into the plant. Kind of go up under this uh, part of the building here and check these lockers to make sure there's nothing there. Yeah, usually not anything in those. But there's always something in this part of the uh, building. Found the food item already, some dog food. Maybe one of these lockers will have something for me. Not in one of those. It's another whetstone by that bench right there. Let's go ahead and force open this locker. 
Kind of annoying to force open a locker and find nothing in it. Just checking all these file cabinets. Sometimes there can be coffee in one of these or herbal tea. That's the main thing I would be looking for in those. There's a granola bar between them, though. A book. Anything else here? Summit soda, I'll take that. Okay, eventually we're gonna get down here into the main part of the building. corpse down here at the end of this we'll check. Pretty much always has a torch by him. A new beef jerky, that's nice. I'm never going to turn down food items unless they're poor condition ones. Okay, there's a few uh, areas we need to look at down here. There's a toolbox here on this table. So let's check the drawers on that. Didn't find anything. Let's light this up a little bit more so you can see what's going on. seeing too much down here. Uh, it's a little cedar log right there. We can't go that way, we have to duck and go under this pipe. Now, fleece mittens, I'll take those. As I said earlier in the run, it's probably best to save your clothing in case you get attacked by a wolf and it gets ruined. That and uh, harvesting clothing is not very efficient for getting cloth. You can get cloth a lot faster by uh, breaking down the uh, curtains. And there's plenty of those in the game, so you shouldn't run out. At least not early in the run and probably not in the medium term of the run. Let me crack open the safe here and see what we have. Always like to spin the dial about halfway around fast because you can always go back to those early numbers really fast. Looks like this one's going to take a little while. Okay, there's one. Or there's two, rather. One left here somewhere. Yeah, you really want to take your time, especially after you've got one tumbler down. Because you don't want to run over and have to do the entire thing again. This one's going to make me go around the whole dial to find it, I think. There it is. Actually, I almost went past that. A hoodie and a scarf, that's, uh, that's pretty good. And I don't know what other clothing items I have right now. I'll have to look at that in a minute. Check the drawer here, nothing there, but we got a flare on the bottom.
Let's go back upstairs and kind of light this area up some too. Well. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get this lit up. Just kind of using the light to make sure I didn't miss anything. And we've got a box of matches here. I would not want to leave that behind. But nothing in the plastic containers. Yeah, we found some decent stuff in there. I think a pretty average trip through the processing plant. Still got one other building to visit on the other side of this. You want to look out for wolves and for bears in this area. Of, uh, past, anywhere past this gate can be pretty dangerous. Nothing in that glove box, so let's continue to the building. Doesn't look like much, guys. Uh, there's not usually much loot in this one. You might find one candy bar or something like that. But it's a small building and there's just stuff thrown all over the place. I don't know why I'm clicking on these uh, metal. Alright, I was just trying to figure out uh, how much metal is in this building. All of these are four, so. And then uh, that's two and that's four. You kind of do a rough calculation and get like uh, 16 and just those lockers right there. And then there were like six of those uh, shelves. So there's like 40 metal in there. 40 scrap metal. Right, let's go out of this area. And this is one of the more dangerous points in the map up here. It's very common to encounter a wolf and sometimes even a bear in this area. Thing to remember is you can run into that little uh, control hut right there and they can't get to you in there as long as you're not standing in the doorway or something you have to be all the way in there so don't make the mistake of thinking you can just stand right at the edge on the doorway and you won't be attacked because you will be pop the trunk here nothing doing on that Let's look around for any sign of wildlife. I don't see any. It looks clear right now, so let's check the first aid kit in here. Got a bandage, and that's all, but a bandage is a very good find an interloper. Help you craft the uh, old man beard's wound dressing, which obviously you want to do. You want to have at least two of those on hand at all times. And we're going to go check this uh, mine as well. I know there's coal in it, but there might be a couple other things in it. And that's really what I'm after right now. If we want to, we can collect the uh, coal at the front of the mine, so it's not it's easy to get later. So nothing at the entrance. Go ahead and you burn the uh, burn the lantern, I guess, for this. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll just collect the coal as we go along here, and we can dump it at the other end. Saw a newspaper, here's some beef jerky, and another hacksaw. Yeah, the only area you're likely to break the hacksaw is in Timberwolf Mountain because there's a lot of containers that you can cut open there. Especially if you make it all the way up to the summit. Which I still have not made it to the summit in Interloper. That's one of my uh, next goals in this game. You know, check this corner over here. We don't have anything. Sometimes in a normal game there would be a lantern or something laying there. Or a crowbar. But for us we just get coal. One thing about Interloper is it is not that I can tell any sparser on the amount of coal it provides for you. Let's break open this locker here. Got anything good for me? Nah. Alright, so let's dump off all this coal right here. Well. I'll dump it off at some point anyways. Could carry it back to the ship. Uh, the church is right up here and I want to look at that also. Also a wolf area so be cautious about this. I've only got one flare shell left. That's the one in the pistol right now so if I use that I'm out. And at that point I probably might as well drop the flare gun. Because the main other place that you find flare shells is at the summit of Timberwolf and it don't seem like I'm going to get there. I could get there but uh, I would find another gun there anyways so I can just leave this one if I want to. Stone Church. Yeah, let's get in here and check out mainly the first aid kit is what I'm most concerned with here. Yeah. That one's a dud. Let's check the corpse. Nope. Anything else here? Yeah, I already checked that. Frontier shooting guide, I can burn that for a, for a good chance at a fire. And I searched that box, but there's not anything there. There's very little in that church most of the time. But I still like to go through it. Okay, just kind of standing here looking out for any wolves that I might see. I just want to make sure and avoid them. I don't want to spend my last flare shell unless I have to. Alright, let's jump down and see. I may carry this coal all the way back to the Riken. Checked this car before, I just wanted to double check that I looked there before. And we're pretty much done at this point with our exploration and uh, desolation point. So in the next episode we will be leaving this area and I missed this wolf, I did not see him from up there. He must have been on the ice somewhere. 
just spent our last flare show on him. Now I've got to back away to make sure he doesn't re-attack me. So if I want to, I can drop the flurry gun. Let's go ahead and make our way back to the Riken and we'll drop off the uh, coal here just in case we need to burn another uh, fire there. May not happen, but we'll see what how this run goes. And I'm about to be dehydrated, so let's drink this Summit Soda. I'm freezing now. That we're pretty close to the Riken, so it doesn't matter too much. Nice day, just a little cold out here. Let's go back in the ship and drop off what we found. I'll light the lantern here briefly just so I can see where I'm going. Well, I may not need to. I may just... I probably don't. I can just stand here and drop all of this coal. So there'll be, you know, at least 20 coal in the Riken when we come back here again. I need to drink. Let's eat something. And a lot of those food items I found are pretty low condition, which is to be expected. Right now we're going to work on the fire starting skill and researching that. Alright, we completed that book. So we can burn it now if we choose. And we are on day 14, guys. Two weeks into the interloper run. And also a cabin fever risk 65%. We'll go ahead and leave the Riken, and next time we will head to the uh, back to Coastal Highway. We'll see you then.